1500 and newer has run 158 and she's had a 157 in a mixed gender race as well Muir will fancy she can get in the medals here. This is going to be an absolute belter, this final. Now, there is Laura Muir, keen to right some wrongs. Back in Glasgow as a fresh-faced 21-year-old, was clipped in the 1500 metre final, dropped down to 11th. She said it still bugs her to this day. And in 2018, Laura Muir missed the Commonwealth Games as she concentrated on her vet studies. Looking for the double here, Laura Muir. She'll line up in lane number four. There's Natoya Gould, the Jamaican. Now, she was the fastest qualifier for this final. Took bronze in 2018 and looked very, very good in qualifying the Jamaican. And as Rob said, the centre lanes here, four, five, six and seven, are separated by about a second in terms of lifetime best. And I'm talking from 156, 155, 156 runners this should be very very good and Catherine how do you think Hodgkinson will cope with this time without knowing the race being the favorite which she is for the goal how does that change her psychological preparation she's confident she is really really confident she believes in her ability herself and coach Trevor Painter have made such strides in the last couple of years there she is. She was pleased with the medal, but angry that she lost the gold, and I like that. Here's your start list then for the women's 800 metre final. Whatever you're doing, just stop for a couple of minutes and join us for what could potentially be an absolutely brilliant race. The crowd know it. Us in the commentary box know it. And I'll tell you what, the athletes on the track here from lanes two to nine know it as well. Absolute all of them, all world class. So in lane number nine, she was the slowest qualifier for this final, but just outside two minutes, the national record holder from Australia, Katrina Bissett. In lane number eight, Alima Nakai of Uganda, their national record holder, qualified fourth for this final, 158 at her best. And listen to the roar that the Birmingham crowd are giving Keely Hodgkinson Olympic silver, world silver, 155.88 at her best. Notoya Ghoul of Jamaica. Bronze, as I mentioned back in 2018, fifth at the recent world championships. Mary Morder of Kenya, dangerous, starts in lane number five. Bronze at the recent world championships, just three tenths behind Keely Hodgkinson in that race. Laura Muir of Scotland. Olympic silver in Tokyo over the 1500 metres, world championship bronze last month, dropping down in distance, but she's a 156 runner. A smile from Alex Bell of England, she'll start in lane number three, fifth at the Commonwealth Games in 2018. And completing the lineup in this women's 800 final, Lindsay Butterworth of Canada, two minutes in qualifying. The semi finalist at the World Championships in 2019. Women's 800 meters so, Commonwealth final, stand by. The Women's 800 Commonwealth final, the Olympic 800 meter silver medalist, taking on the Olympic 1500 meter silver medalist, and keep your eye on Ghoul and Mora. So the gun goes. Expect Latoya Ghoul of Jamaica to go out hard. Mora, though, is setting her stall out early, going down the back straight. Already the Kenyan in lane number five. Here we go, Rob. Down the back straight for the first time. Mora is not afraid to go to the front, and this is fast. Remember, the Kenyan leading started her career with a silver medal over the 400 metres. She had a good look over her shoulder there. She's really laying down the gauntlet here to Keely Hodgkinson, and she has beaten the young English woman this season she's strong, she's powerful and the Kenyan will also be full of confidence after smashing her PB to get on the podium Laura Muir yet to make her move and on the inside, Gould still very much in the mix it's all teed up for a big, big last lap Gould takes the lead at the bell 56 and a half seconds Gould of Jamaica Hodgkinson in second Laura Muir, Chapman Tracking Hodgkinson in third. 
Mora dropping right back after that first fast 400 metres. Natoya Gore, the Jamaican, then was the fastest qualifier for this 800 metre final. Hodgkinson making a move onto the shoulder of Gould. Laura Muir on the inside line in third. 200 metres to go. Mora coming back. But my goodness me, she's got a huge amount of ground to make up. Gould is holding the inside line. Hodgkinson on her shoulder. Can she do it? So often it's been silver. Is it going to be gold tonight? Hodgkinson, Gould on the inside. Mora's pushing. Laura Muir. Still got a bit in the tank, the Scottish star. But Kiwi Hodgkinson grits her teeth. But back from nowhere, the Kenyan Mary Mora. 157.07. Kiwi Hodgkinson will pick up another silver medal at a major championships. But wow, the way the Kenyan Mary Mora ran that race to win the gold medal was absolutely astonishing but outstanding. What a strange, strange way to do it. The dance of delight and the gold goes to Mora. She set the pace at 200, miles clear of everyone else. When they came through at the bell, she let literally the entire field go in front of her. She came storming back round the last bend. And by the way, the reason the result hasn't come up, we've got a furious photo finish between Gould and Muir. I couldn't call it on the line. Very, very tight. Laura Muir might, might have picked the Jamaican on their Independence Day, but it was so close, you just couldn't tell to the naked eye. And it's flashed up. It looks like they've given it to Laura Muir. Silver to the Englishwoman, bronze to the Scot. That must have come down to thousands of a second. But, Catherine, Keely Hodgkinson will view that as a missed opportunity. Mora was all over the place, miles down at the bell, and left herself a mountain.